Uh, Johnny Brown is saying, I'm a bit of a chunky boy and want to lose some weight. I'm doing the beginner weightlifting program at the moment. Can I add some HIIT training in? You could. Uh, the first place I'd start looking at, to be honest, is looking at your diet. In general, I see for most people, most athletes, nutrition, most amateur athletes in, in particular, is that they don't eat enough protein and usually eat up way too many carbs. So, so usually eat more carbs than is necessary, like far in excess of the number of carbs they actually need to hit at adequate performance levels. So before I go adding in any HIIT training or steady state cardio even, I'd be really take a good look at your diet and honestly appraise, like, do you need this much for performance? If you're eating in excess of what it takes to maintain your body weight and then, or maybe more, to, you know, if, if you're eating enough to gain body fat, you probably don't need that. Uh, not specifically for weightlifting anyway, especially if you have a high percentage of body fat. So you need to kind of look at what you're eating and pay attention to that before I would probably go adding in any extra, in you know, high intensity cardiovascular work like that or anything. It doesn't really, like, so most, you don't really burn that many calories. You burn a very small percentage of your calories from exercise. Uh, really what the benefit of exercise is, obviously the hormonal changes, but also mostly the muscle mass. Muscle mass is very expensive to be maintaining. So you'd be better off and better served as looking at a better diet rather than adding in HIIT training. Now, assuming maybe you have looked at your diet and can you add in some HIIT training. If you have already looked at your diet and you feel like you're on, you're doing what you best you can possibly do with your diet, then you could add in a little bit of uh, high intensity training, but probably better off would be something slightly lower intensity and for a little bit longer or short, low intensity and with higher frequency would be better than high intensity interval training for weightlifting anyway would be, it'd be a bit of a murder for your kind of, you know, for your weightlifting. Yeah, I wouldn't especially for weightlifters hit training really wouldn't be it you know unless you're in an off season like the lower end stuff increasing just your general physical activity will be so much more beneficial in terms of both the amount of calories you're burning per day but also in terms of like adaptation stimulus for your body like you don't want a weightlifter just wants to weightlift as much as possible that's what you need to do that's if you're looking to become as good at weightlifting as you can possibly be that's where you should be concentrating. You don't want to be a weightlifter who also does CrossFit, who also does X, Y, and Z, you know? So I would be much more along the lines of obviously sort the diet out first. Then if the diet is absolutely on point and you're in a deficit in, in the ways you need to be, your macronutrient split is perfect, then you can go on and you can look at, okay, maybe a 15-minute walk two to three times a day six days a week and that be your main aim make sure you're getting that in every single day then once you have those put in you can look at other areas of activity that you might be missing out on could you be parking a bit further from the office could you be uh taking the stairs instead of taking the lift all of these things will actually help like if you look at the amount of calories you burn while training it's almost nothing you know like non-activity or non-exercise activity thermogenesis that's just the the calories you breathe breathing in and out pumping your heart blinking blinking aggressively thinking about things that's like more than three quarters of your total caloric expenditure then you have basal metabolic rate which would literally just be the normal movement you have every day the normal amount of calories you burn every day that's like 95 percent of everything these numbers aren't correct but i'm giving you an idea here the amount of calories you burn while training is so phenomenally low that it just doesn't matter now there's definitely certain training modalities out there uh that will continue to burn more calories in the recovery process so think about the the kinds of training where it takes you a long long time to recover uh five sets of 20 in the back squat uh these things where we're really causing a lot of breakdown in the tissues and we really deplete a huge amount of glycogen and then the body has to work for a very long time following the session uh, to replete those stores to, to heal that muscle tissue. In those cases, we can actually meet probably meaningfully increase the amount of calories we're burning uh, in a kind of in a in an amount that's actually significant. Uh, but that would be terrible for you trying to learn weightlifting. It would be terrible for any athlete. Um, and that really is only in the very kind of specific case. Uh, it's even terrible for bodybuilders because they'll end up atrophying muscle. Um, because your body 
really under a lot of pressure 